dia, boa tarde, and boa noite. Good day, good afternoon, and good evening. I am coming to you from the Gold Coast again. <laughs> uh, this is the pool of the beautiful Star Casino. I'm trying not to focus in too much. Um, that's why I'm, I'm filming from far away because I want to respect people's privacies and there's people in the pool. Uh, today is, let me check, I forgot the date, the Saturday the 8th of July 2023. Um, and the sun is just going down. It is about 3.36 p.m. Obviously, we are in winter here in Brisbane, Australia, so we are, um, you know, days are getting a little bit cooler in the afternoon. Um, and I am here showing you this beautiful place which you might want to come and visit at some point. I'm beginning to think I might want to <laughs> sell my services as a uh, tourist blogger. <laughs> Filming these beautiful places, hey? Um, but uh, yeah, come and visit. There's all these places at the Gold Coast that are absolutely stunning. And look, I, I had a thought the other day, if you want me to film from somewhere, like if there's a beautiful place you want me to share, um, let me know and I'm happy to go there if I can, if it's in driving distance um, or if you're willing to pay a flight, hey, why not? <laughs> I will go and film and tag you wherever it is that you might want to, to recommend, hey? Who, who never knows, I might be able to travel the world with, with Echoes and, and doing these vlogcasts for all my bits. Now, the entry I'm going to read um, to you today is a blog that I wrote and published on the 22nd of January of 2023, so earlier in the year. And it is called Breaking Up. Here we go. Now I've only started writing this and already I have butterflies in my belly. I do think this topic actually makes me a little bit nervous to say the least really. We do go through life starting and ending things. It's inevitable really from ending the nappy phase and starting the big girl, big boy pants phase. What an example. <laughs> from ending the school phase to entering the work phase. I think you get the drift. Amongst most of these phases of our lives is the start and the end of various relationships themselves. Take a moment to look back at the amount of people that have crossed your path from teachers, school friends, bosses, work colleagues, sporting teams, medical practitioners, boyfriends and girlfriends, and even pets. You won't remember everyone, and you will probably not recall as to when certain people entered and exited your life, but you will remember certain people and situations due to the immense happiness or pain they brought. And it's really just the way life goes. You in Janet Jackson. <laughs> I think there's one of her songs, Just The Way Life Goes. Now I can guarantee that like me, you have or will have started or ended a relationship at some point. It might have been a job, a friendship or even a romantic relationship. Either way, when you care about others, it is never easy to end it, whatever it may be. There is one relationship though that many people don't talk about openly. It's a relationship that starts and ends more than any other. And ending this particular relationship actually really, really hurts. It's my experience ending this specific relationship that I want to share with you today. The one that broke me into a million pieces and yet it's the one that I will fight for until my last breath. And look, there is a huge difference between giving up and knowing when you've had enough. Breaking up with me. Ah, now I've done this consciously on one occasion and it was the hardest yet most rewarding time of my life. I did not, and I need to reiterate this, I did not give up on me, never. I simply had enough and needed to break up in order to evolve up. I'll admit, and I'll be really honest, that it's a tad weird breaking up with oneself, but I think that it's important to do so when despite your efforts, things are not working. 
if we break up with jobs, friends, sporting teams and partners, then why not break up from ourselves? And I know that we can all physically walk away from ourselves, but we can put a permanent end to something or some things that are not working, which is what I did between the ages of about 29 until 33. And yes, my breakup with myself took around five long years, very, very long years. And why so long? Well, because at times I was impatient. I'd go back to myself only to realize I hadn't changed. I then have to start the breakup process all over again. And you might read that and think, that sounds exactly what some people do in relationship with others. And that's because it is. People go back hoping that the situation has changed, even when they don't see change, only to be faced with the same issues. That was me, with me. (laughs) I kept on giving myself another chance when clearly I shouldn't have, but I was learning. Now these five years of navigating my breakup with myself took me to the lowest of lows and highest of highs. I found out things I didn't expect to find out about myself. And some of those things were hard to swallow and took time to work through. I also discovered surprising and beautiful things that I would never have uncovered had I not broken up with myself. The breakup was really, really ruthless. But in the end, it opened the space for a whole new relationship to flourish. A relationship that would not stand a chance had I not had the strength to let go of the me I was holding on to. If you, yes, you listening or reading (laughs) this entry, haven't broken up with yourself before, take the time to sit still (laughs) and ponder if it's something you need to do. God, that kid was funny, right? Um, Now, this is a breakup that will lead you back to the person you're breaking up from. Only this time, the person waiting with open arms will be you. Get ready to welcome yourself home. A place you had not visited or known until you navigated the toughest breakup of all, the one with yourself. Uh, Raking up and in turn falling in love with me was more than I expected. And, and, and it seriously bring tears to my eyes because it gave me the chance to learn how to say yes without caring about what other people think and saying no also without caring about what other people think of me. It taught me that I am allowed to be me without having to be apologetic and that being me is actually the only person I ever, ever, ever want to be. Falling in love with me gave me time to enjoy and in turn crave my own company, creating an internal environment where I did not need anyone or anything to make me happy. And I still don't (laughs) because I can do that myself. And that's what happens when you break up with yourself. You fall in love with yourself and you only rely on you for your own happiness. Falling in love with me is something I now do day in and day out. It's a continuous continuous, sorry, process of forgiveness and understanding towards myself. Something I will do and hand on heart will do for the rest of my life. I love me. Do you love you? Do you? <laughs> And as you navigate that question, um, as you start to think and to ponder if you too need to break up with yourself, take your time, be kind to yourself. Give yourself grace and just be kind to yourself. You deserve it. And if someone around you decides they wanna break up with themselves, give them support because it is difficult. It's something we're not taught to do. It's something we don't know how to do. I mean, it feels weird, right? Um, But look, for you to know the true you, who you are, you need to go deep and you need to go deep within to be able to, to flourish. 
if you decide to do that, I would love, love to hear about your journey. Um, if you want to share, feel free to do so um, in the comments, on the vlogcast, or even on the block. Block? <laughs> share on the block. You can share on the block if you want. I have no idea where that is. But on the blog <laughs> at echoes.com.au and echoes is E-C-H-O-E-Z. Um, or even send me an email. Hello at echoes.com.au. And look, as you journey through all of that, I just want to remind you to be kind to yourself. Be great for yourself. And be you because you deserve it. <laughs> I look forward to having you back here next week. Until then, have a beautiful and safe week. And I'll chat to you soon. Ciao for now. <laughs> bye bye.